many, many years ago, I was born. I love you. So the story starts with me being born. All right? I didn't come from space like Amir Khan in, in, in uh, PK, you know? All right? So I was born. And how many of you come from a small town? Small town. Very good. So I come from the smallest, smallest, smallest town in Malaysia called Telo Intan, which translates to English meaning Diamond Bay. But there was no diamonds. Don't get excited. It was just a river full of mud. And I was born, all right, with two older brothers, Kuna Senati Raja and Sati Senati Raja, okay? And my mom and dad were both school teachers, all right? Senati Raja and Padmawadi. Because I need you to know who I am. So my father's name is Senati Raja, and my mother's name is Padmawadi. And when I was growing up, I lost my dad when I was three years old. Now, I know some of you have lost your parents. And it's difficult. But I lost him when I was very young. So I don't know my father. Right? I don't know him well enough. Actually, I have no memory. Maybe one or two memories. But I only hear stories <clears throat> about my dad. And I hear stories about him, which today makes me believe that he was the greatest man ever, all right? That my dad was a, was a rock star. He was, he was a hero, but I never knew him. So that means I was left with this woman who is my mother. My mother became my mom, my dad, my mentor, my teacher, my everything, all right? So she, she, she became our world, all right? Just because you are grown up today, just because you have a job or you are networking, you must never, never forget the sacrifices your parents made for you. You cannot understand it. You cannot. You were too young. You don't know what sacrifices they made. You don't know how they saved the money so you can have new clothes. Or Diwali, or Christmas, or Eid. Right? You don't know. You don't know the conversations your mom and dad had. Right? To protect you. And the sacrifices they made. So I watch my mom make great sacrifices throughout her life. So I'll tell you a true story about the power of dreams. You see, dreams, you had dreams since you were a small kid. You don't realize this. You think today your dreams is about the Ferrari, is about the villa, is about financial freedom, flying first class. But you fail to understand that you have been a dreamer since you were young, right? Even ice cream is a dream, you know. You understand? And you were very passionate about your dreams when you were young. Think about it. When you went, when a child, a child follows the mother to the supermarket and the child wants a toy, right? And the mother says, no. Will the child listen? No! The child will say, I want it now. The eyes will become big, right? And the mind is working. What can I do to force this woman to buy it for me? Correct or not? True? True? And the child will scold up. First, the pitiful face. Then the angry face. 
then they start doing weird things. Take off their clothes, you understand or not? Pee in the supermarket, you understand or not? But the passion, the commitment to a dream you had when you were small, and when you are in love, when you have a dream, right? You cannot sleep. Do you realize this? When you want something so bad as a child, right? You will never, never give up. You just cannot give up. So I could, couldn't sleep. I was thinking of this girl. I was thinking of this girl. And one day, God was very kind. Because God organized a school trip. A school trip. To go, love you bro, to go to this entertainment park. You know entertainment park? All right? And it was my mother's class, all girls. And my mother looked at me and said, do you want to come? So I said, and you can't tell your mother, yes, I want to come. She'll be confused. Which boy wants to go to a school trip with 40 girls at that age? But she was there. So I told my mother, oh, school trip. Okay. I will come. Now, this is a bus. And I had to come up with a plan. Because if you want to achieve your dream, you got to have a plan. You can't just grab it. You can't kidnap the girl. You understand? All right? So I had a cassette player, Panasonic, or National, I think, and one cassette. Press, play, listen, stop, rewind, play, listen, stop, rewind, play, listen, stop, rewind, play, listen, stop, rewind, play, listen. You understand? Presentacion, 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 presentacion. And I memorized the song. So we were in the bus. In the bus. I'm sitting at the back. My mother in front. The prison warden. You understand? And then I saw my mother sleeping. I said, this is it. Now is the time. And you are talking to yourself. But man, you can do this. You understand? Be strong. Then I stood in front of her. I took out the paper. Like the national anthem of Malaysia. I sang, looking in your eyes, I see your paradise. I'm telling you, I'm serious. And all the girls started to laugh. They laughed. Like many people laugh at you every day of your journey, all right? But you see, I didn't care. I didn't care because that dream was so powerful, all right? I know it, it's, it's, it's like kids love, okay? But it was so powerful at that time. I may be 12, but it was so powerful that I didn't care, 39 girls were laughing. I didn't care, I sang the whole song like a moron. And she didn't respond. Like Dato Sri said last night, I got knocked down again. And I went at the back, almost gonna cry. But no, don't cry, Patman, never give up. So I looked at her, no response. We got down from the bus and we went to this theme park, you know, like a theme park. And we entered the horror house, you know, the ghost house. You know this? Where you go in and your mother in law comes and bah, you understand not? <laughs> Sorry, the ghost comes and bah, you understand not? And, and I entered this horror house and I was walking, depressed. The ghost was coming here, the ghost was coming here, I didn't care. And as I was walking, suddenly, 
suddenly i felt somebody hold my hand i was like i prayed it was not a boy you understand or not so so i was holding the hand who is what and after you come out of the horror house there is light and it's like god himself is standing there with a torchlight you understand and i turned slowly to my right and she was holding my hand and, and i'm telling you it was not a ferrari it was not financial freedom <clears throat> but the feeling of that moment was as powerful as any dream that i have achieved recently is as powerful as any car is as powerful as any house i have purchased because a dream is a dream is a dream but you need it at a 12 years old i learned the greatest lesson in life that as long as you never 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 give up i promise you your dreams will become a reality you just don't give up you don't give up i respect all of you who have a job right now and doing qnet part time right because you still need to feed your family immediately but i hate the concept of a job i think it's a scam i think we should destroy the concept of a job i am telling you the reason i stand here as an ambassador of network marketing because i hate the concept of a job are you with me all right and i think this is unfair that the concept of employment is the biggest scam on the planet because everyone works hard and only one person makes money all right so you look at mark zuckerberg bill gates steve jobs i have no respect for them i only have respect for people like dato sri vijay ishwaran you understand that because because dato sri vijay allows anyone to be a millionaire we are not his employees we are his partners we are entrepreneurs you can max out tomorrow 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 you can max out anyone anyone from any country can max out tomorrow if you decide there is nothing that can stop you because qnet doesn't look at your skin color doesn't look at your nationality doesn't look at your education doesn't look at your religion qnet is equal opportunity anyone can become a somebody all right i borrowed money from my mother i borrowed money from sati i borrowed money from kuna to sign up last time there was no 5000 7000 bv there was only 3000 maximum bv signed up first 48 hours signed up 22 people in my organization and the rest is history and i'm standing here today in front of all of you guys and the reason why i'm standing here today is to share only one secret which i believe is the only secret to this business now this business is not about what you know and i agree with that to sri vijay there is no use writing in the book all right this business is about what you want because you signed up whatever reason even if somebody lied to you and signed you up and brought you here doesn't matter like i said yesterday there are no mistakes in his plan and after 21 years of building this business all over the planet from iceland 
to Ethiopia. I've traveled 20 years for Dato Sri and Japa. I realize one thing. Only one thing matters. That is your dream. Without a dream, you will never succeed in this business. No matter how hardworking you are, no matter how consistent you are, no matter how much you fight, without a dream, you can never succeed in this business. You need something that drives you, a reason, a purpose, something so powerful that no enemy, no newspaper, no Google search, no government can ever steal from you. When I spoke to Dato Sri Vijay, and he told me one thing, he said, your dream cannot be here. Your dream must be here. And I asked myself, every day, why do I do this? Who am I doing it for? And I realized that my dream has always been and will always be my mother, my amma. Because I watched her, I watched her pay the price, all right? I watched her pay the price her whole life for me, for Sati, for Kuna. But I couldn't give anything back because with our jobs, we can't pay our own bills. How can we give back to our parents, all right? How can we give to our children the life they really deserve when we cannot survive? And my dream kept me awake at night. I never needed to sleep. Because my dream is something I'm willing to die for. That every time I heard my mother's voice, every time I came back home 4 o'clock in the morning and saw her face, I said, I'm never going to give up. I'm never, ever going to give up. They can kill me, but I'm never going to stop until I can repay my mother, until I can give back. Because I saw her, I saw her give up everything for me. And this morning, you need to decide what's your dream. It can be a Ferrari. It can be the house of your dreams. It can be your parents. It can be your kids. But you got to decide tonight, this morning. Because everything you're going to hear at VCon, everything you're going to learn and experience on your journey, it makes no sense without the dream. Do you really have a dream that you're willing to fight for, that you're willing to die for? Because that's the only way you will succeed in this business. Then I realized the power of my dream wasn't the car, wasn't anything. It was giving back to that one person who made the greatest sacrifice for me, my mom.